Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving leak code problem 1004, max consecutive ones 3. Before we get into the question prompt, I just want to ask you guys to help me out. Please leave a like and a comment on the video. The comment can literally be anything. Smash your face into the keyboard and whatever comes up, that's fine. I just need it for the algorithm. All right. Given a binary array nums and an integer k, return the maximum number of consecutive ones in the array if you are allowed to flip at most k zeros. So let's look at an example. Basically, we want to find the longest string of ones we can make, and we're allowed to flip, at, in this example, two k, uh, sorry, two zeros, right? So we could flip these two, this one here and this one here, and then we would have a length of what? So if these become ones, then this would be five. So that is one potential answer. We could flip this one and this one, and then we would have what? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've now found a better answer. Or we could possibly flip this one and this one, right? So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So actually it's the same answer, doesn't really matter, but the best one we can do is six. So problem is pretty straightforward. I mean, looking at it, you can kind of figure out what to do, but solving in code is actually really, really straightforward. This problem is probably more of a medium, um, but it's ranked as a, sorry, it's more of an easy, but it's ranked as a medium. Anyway, let's think about how we can solve this. What we want to do is we want to go through our array from left to right. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take a greedy approach. We're going to, every time we see a zero, we're going to take it, right? And so if it's a zero, we need to decrement our K by one, obviously, um, because we're taking it. And when we get to a point where K is actually less than zero, that means that we've taken too many. And that means that now we actually need to, um, you know, start removing zeros that we took. So we have to kind of get them back. And the way that we're going to do that is we're actually going to move uh, one of our pointers um, up. So this is going to be a two pointer approach where the right pointer kind of goes fast and finds the zeros that we can flip. And the left pointer is going to wait until we get to this K uh, less than zero. And then it's going to move up because obviously we have to now move our pointer up. And as soon as we get a zero, now that we're, you know, less than our budget, because we've used up all of our K, if we see a zero, we basically have to add it back so we can pretend like we're not taking it anymore. So we can take a future K. And at every iteration, basically, if we have available K, then we're just going to keep track of our maximum. And we're just going to take a max between the current maximum, uh, which is our kind of current solution, and whatever the difference between the left and the right pointer is, and then plus one, because we want it to um, basically be inclusive here. So that's essentially what we want to do at a high level. Writing this is actually super, super simple. Let's now go to the code editor and type this up. It's probably like 10 lines of code. It's ridiculously simple. You'll be surprised. So I'll see you in the code editor momentarily. We are back in the code editor. Let's type this up. So like I said, we're going to need a left pointer, a right pointer, and we're also going to need to basically keep track of our solution. So let's define the left pointer and the solution. So we'll say uh, L. Uh, and I guess max consecutive is going to be zero. And the right pointer we're actually going to get by uh, iterating over the array. So we're going to say for right num in enumerate uh, nums. And what this is going to do, it's going to give us the index, which is going to be our right pointer and our number. Uh, so that way we don't have to extract it. We can just use um, the Python enumerate function here and make our lives a little bit easier. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say K minus equals one minus num, right? So let's think about why we do this. What's going to happen when K equals one? Well, when K equals one, obviously one minus one is zero. So nothing's going to happen to K, which is what we want to happen, right? We don't care about ones. We only care about taking zeros. But if it was a zero, right, if K equals zero, then that means that one minus zero is going to be one, right? So we're going to be subtracting one from K whenever it's a zero. So this is just a little trick to basically, you know, take our um, num and we don't actually have to check whether it's zero or not. We can just do the subtraction and this way we can do it in a one liner. So now remember, if K is actually less than zero, then that means that we've taken too many zeros and we need to start actually um, giving some of them back. So we're going to say if K is actually less than zero, oops, less than zero, 
what we're going to do here is we're going to do the opposite of what we did when we're taking. So we're going to add to k 1 minus nums of L. So we're going to check whatever the left pointer is. And we are essentially going to see if it's a 0, we're going to try to um, you know give it back. Otherwise, if it's a 1, we don't do anything, right? Because we can only give back when it's a 0. So if it's a 1, we can't do anything about it. So if, um, you know, and then we're just going to move the left pointer up because we need to move the left pointer up so that way we can uh, find more of these values that we have, right? The zeros that we flipped. So we need to move the left pointer up. Otherwise, if we still have things in our budget, then we want to actually check whether our solution is, um, you know, one of our best solutions. So we're going to say max consecutive. It's going to be the max of whatever the current max consecutive is. Uh, and right minus left plus one. So this is going to be essentially um, how many indexes are between the right and the left. And that way we can count actually the length of our consecutive ones here. And once this for loop ends, whoops, uh, once this for loop ends, all we need to do is return max consecutive. And that is it. So let's just run this, make sure we didn't make any stupid syn. Yeah, of course, I made stupid syntax mistake. Uh, this should be one minus nums of left. Uh, I guess that's why I run it. Luckily, it's not a real interview. Uh, let's submit this and did it get accepted? I think so. Yeah, okay, accepted, perfect. All right, so let's go back to the problem and now think about the uh, time and space complexity. This one is also super simple. So time complexity wise, it's gonna be big O of N because they can, as you can see, all we're doing is moving the right pointer up through the array. So we go one time from left to right. Um, none of the operations here we do uh, are anything but constant time. Obviously, subtracting a value is constant time, looking up a value is constant time, taking the maximum is constant time. So it's just big O of n for the time for the space. As you can see, we don't have any variables except for these kind of pointer variables, the left and max consecutive, but those are just constant space allocations. So our space is big O of one. So there you go, big O of n for the time, uh, big O of one for the space. And this is the absolute best you can do. You can't really improve on this. There's no way to apply like a binary search here because the list isn't sorted. Um, not that that would matter. Anyway, that is the most optimal solution. And like I said, it's super simple. It's like 16 lines of code. And look at all this white space here. You could probably even uh, take it down. So that is how you solve max consecutive ones. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. This problem is relatively straightforward. Maybe if you don't see the trick, it might trip you up. But once you see this trick once, you'll never have problems with this uh, question again. So hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Like I said in the intro, it really helps me with the algorithm. I swear to God, you can literally just mash your face into the keyboard and whatever pops up, leave it as a comment. Google will think it's uh, in a comment and it helps with the algorithm. Subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. I also do have a Discord channel if you're interested in joining that community where we talk about all things Fang. You can have your resume reviewed by me personally. You can ask me questions directly and just connect with your fellow uh, peers that are also looking to go through the leak code process. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.